Hi there, Tracy from Oshkafia. Today I'd love to show you how to use PowerPoint Designer in, uh, in PowerPoint, of course. I think most of us uh, has this crazy idea that we're not creative, but Microsoft has really gone out of their way to help us uh, be more creative and uh, use all the tools and features out there. So um, first things first, before I start showing you, there's a couple of uh, important things to remember, is you have to have uh, Office 365, you need to be connected to the internet because remember it's going to go looking for some cool ideas um, you need to use the slide layouts with title or title and content let me just show you where that is under the home tab you'll see that there's layout and this is where it shows you which layout you're currently on so don't use the blank layout or a different layout you'll have to use title title and content or title only um, no additional objects or shapes on the same slide as the photos the PowerPoint theme, um, you have to have one of the normal Microsoft PowerPoint themes. You can't use a custom downloaded theme, or you could try it, but if it doesn't work, it might be the cause of it. Then maximum of four photos. Photos must be larger than 200 by 200 pixels, and this will not work um, while you're co-authoring. So uh, let's get started. When I, when I go to insert, to insert the images, so remember maximum four images, which I am going to use. So I'll go insert picture and I'm going to pick the four images that I would like to use. So um, let's get creative by using some of these really cool pictures um, that I've downloaded from pixels.com, by the way. And uh, as soon as I insert it um, on PowerPoint, you'll actually see that the design ideas comes up on the right hand side. If it doesn't, you can go to the design tab and then click on design ideas and it'll actually open up the toolbar and the tool pane on the right hand side. Once this comes up, you can then scroll through the different um, ideas that uh, PowerPoint has suggested for you. I have to admit in the beginning, I didn't like this. I don't like things uh, doing things on my behalf and doing designs on my behalf. But uh, of course I realize that we just have too much to deal with these days and we have uh, too much information to deal with so when i have tools and helpers like this i'm actually using them more and more so let's have a look at the different options this was done super fast as you know and as you saw um, you now have different options to pick from and uh, remember that this isn't just for powerpoint presentations if you do a lot of design work in powerpoint like i do this might be a product brochure or maybe an invite to a party um, or your latest team building um, document um, an overview that you've done so you can just scroll through the right hand side and pick the slide that uh, that works for you yes of course if i look at these slides powerpoint's given me one two three four five six seven options eight options and um, that is the options you're going to get but please take a look at how fast it is to create these I'm going to use uh, this design and I can promise you this would have taken me forever to do in PowerPoint to cut the images that way, etc. Um, so great idea by PowerPoint. Thanks Microsoft for giving us a great tool to help us be more creative. And uh, please use those design ideas in, uh, in your PowerPoint to get uh, your creative game up. Have a cool day.